Assalamu alaikum, my name is Khizr and I am an active member of the SASP community. Today we are going to be looking at the concepts of IDS and IPS. So to begin, we are just going to begin with their abbreviations. So an IDS stands for Intrusion Detection System, while an IPS stands for Intrusion Prevention System. Now moving on. Um, in order to understand both of these concepts we're going to take a very simple example now this example is very simple so even if you don't have any concept of whatsoever what is an IPS and what's an IDS after this example I am 100% um, sure that you'll be able to understand and clearly explain what an IDS and IPS is so let's take the example <coughs> So, we have in front of us a uh, university and it has a gate in front and usually there are um, guards at the university gate. Now, what the guards do, well, they stop you and they ask you for your ID and if you show your ID, well, there's your ID and if you do show your ID, well, you're allowed to go in and if you don't show your ID, well, you're not allowed to go in. So, taking this example, well, what the guard is doing here is he's following this uh, this simple rule, right? He's following a rule here that you are only allowed to enter if you show your ID card. So, if you don't show your ID card, well, you're not allowed, right? And in the same principle, on the same principle, well, you can think of the guard as an IDS or an IPS. Well, I'll explain later how a guard can be an IDS and in what situation he will be an IPS but <coughs> an IDS or IPS right works just like a security guard right it, it is following a rule it has these rules that are predefined or you can custom make them on your own and based on those rules it makes decision on inbound and outbound network traffic right <coughs> so the the uh, the most important thing over here is we need to understand uh, the difference between an IDS and IPS now a security guard for example if the security guard just checks your ID and it say okay this guy has an ID on him let me just write it down on the register and just let him go he lets him go this guy does not have an ID well I'll just write his name down and I will still let him go that would be an intrusion detection system and intrusion detection system doesn't prevent anything from going inside your net network right it won't stop it it will just lock right now intrusion prevention system is what it does is from a guards standpoint um, it, it will be a guard where um, guards ask for an ID and if the person shows the ID he writes it down and then afterwards he um, lets them go and if no uh, and if someone comes that doesn't have an ID on them well he or she will not be allowed in so that would be uh, the concept of intrusion prevention system <coughs> so moving on um, we have seen the basic principle and we have understood the basic principle that these things work on um, so kinds of IDS and IPS well we have two kinds of uh, IDS and IPS um, host based IDS and IPS and network IDS IPS now, host based uh, IDS IPS uh, would be the type of idea I IPS and IDS is that would uh, be deployed over any endpoint right so it can be your laptop or your personal computer on the other hand a network based IDS IPS would be uh, an IDS IPS that would be um, deployed to actually monitor um, a whole bunch of computers in a network not just a single machine right which the single machine would be the case of the host based IDS IPS right so network there will be like multiple machines in a network and the network based IDS IPS will be used to monitor all those machines right so those are the very basic kind of IDS and IPSs that we have looked at moving on we have the detection types 
um, in detection types we have uh, two types of detections mechanisms right mm, signature based detection which refers to detection of tags which uh, basically is uh, pattern matching right it matches the pattern and if it sees something malicious well it stops it or in in case of an IPS it stops it in case of an IDS well it just logs it and just lets it go right anomaly based detection now anomaly based detection is a bit different from uh, the signature based detection in because it it uses machine learning models and in based on those models it predicts if uh, certain traffic is malicious or not so you know anomaly based detection can detect um, malicious uh, malicious traffic if uh, a malicious traffic that would not have been defined before but anomaly based detection also have a uh, chance of false positives so that be so that be like the difference between signature based detection and anomaly based detection moving on we have the application so IDS and IPS is like they are deployed in every like corporate company like you can go ahead and pick any of the companies anywhere they will have an IDS or an IPS system or of a similar of some sort right companies put these things to monitor their um, to monitor to monitor their um, traffic uh, network traffic for assets uh, some critical assets or even for the whole subnet possibly so these are like deploy all over the place so a popular um, an IDS or IPS which is an IDS and IPS both it be an open source known as snort snort is an open source IDS IPS that you can uh, deploy on your own PC and see how it works um, in the upcoming videos we'll be uh, seeing a practical demonstration of these IDS and IPSs so stay tuned in for that that would be all for this video if you happen to have um, any queries uh, you can email us at scsp.community at gmail.com and you can also re reach us at our Facebook page that would be all thank you